Hey guys, Dan Bedondi for TruthRadioShow.com. So you're going to see a lot of these videos, guys, and you need to pay attention, right? There's probably hundreds, if not thou about a thousand or so videos out there talk about the 200 million man army. Uh, could it be China? Could it be China and Russia, right? So here's the thing, right? Here's the problem. Most of these people putting these videos out, right, uh, they're coming from Revelation 9, right? So what they'll do is they'll read from, I think it's uh, verse 9 or something, from the sixth angel. Now, what they're missing, right? The uh, Revelation chapter 9 talks about the fifth angel and the sixth angel blowing the trumpets, right? And certain things happen, right? So they'll go right to Revelation 9 in the middle of the chapter where it says the sixth angel sounded his trumpet, right? And the four angels from the Euphrates River were released and it led a 200 million man army to slaughter one third of mankind, right? So automatically people go out there saying it's China, it's Russia, you know, all that stuff. Uh, but the thing is, if you bother reading, um, the beginning where the fifth angel is, you don't need to interpret it. It clearly says where they're from. Now, let's do the math for us, right? 200 million, yeah. So, if you do the math, right, you could go online and actually look at, you know, how many mil you know, troops pe people got in the world, right? So, China only has 2.1 million. That's it. Russia has only 1.1 million. So, where are they getting the 200 million from? And now, all right, if you take every soldier around the world combined, right, guess what? It's only about 14.3 million. So where's the 200 million come from? We're still missing uh, well, 100, about 185 million more troops, right? Well, here's the thing. Again, if the people that made these videos, if they bothered reading the beginning of the chapter, that's why it's very important to read the scripture in context, right? And most of these people don't. And they'll jump off of rural emotions and their own interpretations. The Bible says don't lean on your own interpretation, but let the scripture interpret itself, right? So that being said, right, I challenge you, go to Revelation chapter 9, right? Start from the beginning, verse 1, read the whole chapter, right? So before the sixth angel comes, right, there's common math, right? The fifth angel has to come first, right? So when the fifth angel comes, right, it's given the keys to the abyss, right? So the abyss opens up and it says 200,000, 200 million, sorry, 200,000 dollars, you know, thousand thousand, which is 200 million, right? Locust like creatures, they get breastplates of, uh, iron and they're also they're like um, lions as well so these are nephilim type creatures right and it specifies they come from the abyss right and they're given authority to torture men for five months without harming them then when the sixth angel comes the, the four angels from euphrates river are released and they lead okay they only torture people by the way who are not mocked by god right so with the four angels lead them later to kill one third of mankind who are not mocked by god so these are not human guys these are Nephilim creatures from the abyss, exactly as the Bible says. Not China or Russia. God bless.